So this is the starting point. Obviously you need to have had all your components printed at point 0.2 resolution preferably with three perimeters and uh, we'll just start with the preliminary steps to assemble this. The first thing that you need to do is to take the lever base and take a relatively fine file and file it in a round pattern till you get this nice and smooth and you're able to take your 25 millimeter tube and fit that into it so you want it to fit fairly tightly but you want to be able to remove it again so this tube which we've uh, built this for is 25 millimeter external and it's got a one millimeter wall so you'll need 300 millimeters of this tubing and once you've got your tubing cut to length then you'll need to drill a 3.5 mil hole 15 millimeters from the end in order to match up with this hole here because this hole is designed to take a three millimeter screw so an m3 screw so that you can uh, lock it on when all is done so that's the first step sorry about the noise prepare the end here for the tubing the next step is to take a piece of sandpaper and two things firstly you want to give this a, a polish around so that you take the gloss off the outside of this so that it becomes fairly smooth and then take your paper and reverse it and hold it on there take the base and hold it into the base and then sand it use it as the tool to sand the base so that you end up with the, the base is nice and smooth inside here it doesn't have to be super smooth but it needs to take the main ridges off so that when we go to the step of applying the velcro to it it will stick take the brake shoe that you've printed and do the same thing with that so give it a, a nice polish inside with the sandpaper until the gloss is removed and it's fairly even all the way across once you've done that you want to clean these things up so take some alcohol of some form isopropyl alcohol or or some other and just clean these surfaces off we're going to do that one and we want to clean the shoe as well so clean those surfaces off let those uh, dry off a bit once that's done you'll need two lengths of 20 millimeter wide velcro loop and this cut to 60 millimeters so you can take that loop then and apply it to the inside of those surfaces so in this case we want to apply it so that the inside of this edge here doesn't go over the edge of this part so that it's even with that edge as much as possible all the way around so just just roll it in there holding it so that it it doesn't um, go onto the inside edge and apply it like that all right so we do that for the base and then we do the same thing for the shoe we apply another strip to the shoe and in this case we want this edge which is these two screw holes on the left we want this edge to be level with the tape if it's proud on the outside a little bit it's not so such a deal but the inside we we'll try and keep that just level with the edge of the shoe like so 
if need be. See, I've got a little bit proud there. If need be, just take some scissors or a blade and just snip that excess away. So here, I'll just cut that excess away. And there we go. So now we've prepared the shoe and the base to that point. So we're ready now to go to the next point. Uh, got that assembled incorrectly. So we've got it like so. So now they'll all line up and our shoe is going to do its job and we'll approach that again later. So you can put that aside. The next step is to take the mounting pin and it's tapered. So we just want to gently file that very little bit to make it round to take the printing marks out of it so not too much because that one is going to be used later to locate this in there so you want it so it'll push in a bit but we don't want to push it home at the moment because it's going to need some lubricant later all right so we've done our, our basic assembly of that unit We've got some other steps to do first before we can go and fully assemble it but we're well on the way to assembling this collective 